Oh yeah, we are here. Hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome. Episode six of Cyber Nights. How y'all doing tonight? Hey guys. All right. Now, unfortunately, we're uh, we're kind of waiting on a couple of our fellow cast members. Literally, Yam Spurts is stuck in traffic right now unfortunately but uh we will make do i will introduce myself as always i am dave or dm dave as some like to call me and i am the executive producer slash director slash gm of cyber knights and uh co-owner of sputter media my partner in crime well so far i've we've kept it pretty much on the level but otherwise mr nobody slash mark go ahead mark miller introduce yourself Hey, I'm the uh, co-owner, vice president, uh, VP in charge of BS, and uh, uh, I am the uh, co-creator, uh, co-editor, um, uh, peon for hire. That's me. Um, I do all the little nasty things that, that Dave doesn't want to do anymore. So. Uh, that is true. That is true. I do, there are a lot of nasty things that I have to get Mark to do uh, now that we are partners. And, but that's just how partnership works, right? Uh, yeah, that's what they tell me. <laughs> but uh, anyway, uh, and of course, we couldn't really be here without him because Mark is our tech guru. He makes everything here in Cyber Nights just look fucking amazing uh, for our production. So thank you, Mark. And let us go to our two ladies. We have Sola, who plays Butterfly. Go ahead, Sola. Tell them uh, who you are and where they can find you. Um, hi, um, I'm Sola, and I like to have a good time. You can find me on um, on Instagram as Sola Green, where you can um, see my, my silly food post and drawings. Um, and you can also find me on Discord as Sola. Um, and I, I do play Butterfly, who is uh, not best pleased at the moment with the direction that things are going. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Sola. And then we have Emily, who plays Lovelace. Go ahead, Emily. Tell them who you are and where they can find you. Hello, everyone. I'm Emily. You can find me at... Oh, the... maybe you can hear the thunder just in time. <laughs> you can find me at Kitten 66 on Instagram for pictures of my garden and art and stuff and i'm playing uh lovelace the team's net runner who has uh her sight set on an interesting gig can you hear the thunder any <laughs> ghost fans out there uh, can you hear the no, thunder sala posted the um, thunder rolls and i'm thinking the old garth brooks song yeah 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 Good song. um I think uh, Metallica did a really good cover of that one, mm -hmm. too, for those who are interested in better music. Uh, <laughs> and, and Thunder! There we go. Uh, we go. I was, Thunder! I was thinking of uh, Garth Brooks, too. I love Garth Brooks. Yeah. Aww. <laughs> uh, see? So, anyway. We have um, wonderful taste. Fantastic, <laughs> if you say so. Let's go ahead and uh, since we are waiting on uh, Yamsperts and Caltrop to pop in, let's go ahead and throw a quick shout out to our sponsor. We have Dubby Energy, which is a jitterless powdered energy drink that we already had uh, one really big sale. I don't know who it was, but I just got notification yesterday. Somebody bought $120 worth of W products Ooh. using our code. Yeah, yeah. Fiber. That code, That's by amazing. the way, is Purple Nurple. Yeah, we made a whole $9.10 commission from that. You so know thank what? You, whoever, That's amazing. Uh, whoever bought that, uh, that W product, thank you. Uh, we appreciate you. So that being said, Let's get into a quick little recap, and we can't, because we still have some time to stall, <laughs> but we do the recap at the beginning anyway. And I'm going to pick on, uh, I'm going to pick on Mr. Nobody tonight to do the recap, because I know I picked on the girls the last couple times. Well, I mean, gosh darn, I mean, it's, it's because I, I pay such close attention because I have nothing else to do uh, <laughs> when, I, when we're doing the streams. I, I You know what? I'm just sitting here twiddling my thumbs and uh you know that's the way it works so basically we just paid a lot of bills um we had to uh buy our food pay our rent 
and uh, um, Lovelace uh, kind of reported in to her boss, and uh, the boss was not as pissed off as she thought he would be. Uh, in fact, uh, he gave her an additional mission to find the information that was stolen, the data that was stolen. And uh, then uh, Butterfly uh, was, uh, you know, trying to make some extra cash. So she went out with the uh, trauma team and uh, made quick 500 eddies and met uh, uh, Mr. What was his name? It was uh, uh, Mr. Patel. Mr. Patel. Patel. Yes, uh, Hashish Patel, and uh, <laughs> and uh, so oh. she was. Uh, she did made such a great impression on him, on uh, Mr. Patel, that he actually offered to hire her uh, on a freelance basis. And she was hesitant until she found out she could make you know five hundred eddies a pop. You know, I'm going to cut in real quick there because you, I, I know you're doing your Mr. Nobody uh, malapropism thing, but <laughs> it's, it, it actually made me think, and I'm like, wait a minute, Ashish etymologically might actually be related to Hashish. Like, the, it's the same region <laughs> the words come from. The same, you know, I'm like, wait a minute. Is there, are there people running around and their name is just fucking Hash? Well, I don't know, but uh, they're probably pretty popular. Oh man! Uh, speaking of which, I could go for anyway. Anyway, continue. so so anyway, the uh, and then Mister Nobody was pretty banged up from the fight, so he spent a couple days uh, healing, and then as soon as the healing was over, he like was calling everybody to you know try and uh, you know get caught up with uh, business and and try to follow up on on the events of the day and. He was trying to get his uh, brain dance uh, put together and, uh, you know, um, kind of make a little extra money and get a little more notoriety for the group. And I rolled so well that, um, yeah, I had like egg on my face for the like the whole second half of the show last week. So, yeah, there was that. Yeah, that, that that did happen. That was a thing. Did. Um, yeah. Yeah, well, I mean, them's the breaks when it comes to, uh, and of course, God bless our Talsorian games for saying that this is the one role you can't spend luck on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? that was pretty bad. Like, oh, man. Uh, so, <clears throat> that is great. That's fantastic. You stalled just long enough for me to be able to introduce Caltrop and Yam. So, let me start with Tyrus. Go ahead and tell them who you are and where they can find you. Hey there, I'm Tyrus. You can find me at Sarcastic Tyrus on Twitter. I play the character Caltrop, voice actor, improviser, sarcastic asshole. Very cool. Oh Need more God. of those. I'm sorry, I gotta share this. My cat, who was sitting behind me on my recliner, jumped from the top of the recliner, but like the mic boom mic was in the way, so she was trying to jump over and under or like sorry trying to jump under and over and trying to do like a and she ended up just doing this flip on the couch arm and just like rolled over and then looked back at me like i meant to do that yeah well of course she did of course she did so oh, very cool well okay, i'm glad tyrus I, made it in very cool you made I it i'm glad buddy. tyrus made it and yam let's go ahead and get your introduction tell them who you are and where they can find you Yam Terrence here, uh, exec extraordinaire, uh, a.k.a. Joe, a.k.a. Snap King. You can find me uh, anywhere on the internet as Snap King and or some iteration of that. That's who I am. And he'll All also right. be doing the traffic report. He's already <laughs> in the copter. He's in the chopper above Night City right now. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and tell us what the weather's like up there right now. What can you see from the skies, Yam? Uh, there's a lot of clouds, a lot of smoke, and I think that I, I see a couple of nudists. But I'm not positive. Very cool. Uh, <laughs> that's probably that's probably just um, uh, uh, Han Varhe, uh, played by um, 
uh, I know I probably pronounced it so wrong, but played by our very own Heather, who's uh, one of our listeners. She plays in my Wednesday night game as the Netrunner Van- uh, Han Varhe, and she very specifically walks around topless. That's her thing. Making sure everybody can see her pierced nipples. Man, Night City is incredible. You got to meet all these people. You really got to. Yeah, one of these days. Yeah, that's, uh, I mean, I, I'm, I, I, you know what? I, if I happen to run across somebody like that, I, you know, I wouldn't make a scene at all. I mean, like if if I can walk around topless in my trunks, which I probably shouldn't, honestly, because you know, it's like a a, a bear rug carpet, like walking around. Um, but, uh, you know, I mean, if I can do that, why can't she? Right. Yes, absolutely. All right. So where were we? That's right. We just got done with the recap. So let's check out the actual night city. Here's the view from the sky that, uh, that Yamsperts is seeing right now. As we said, by the way, uh, uh, Joe player of Yamsperts is stuck in traffic one of those things that just happens and we've all been there and at least hopefully in uh his traffic uh situation he is not having nearly as many bullets flying as there are in night city but right now over night city yam spurts is sitting pretty in his executive suite his uh executive uh apartment building that he's got in the executive zone but what are the rest of you peons doing we've got uh butterfly nobody lovelace and over here in the corner at the aldecado camp the only person with a car caltrop what are you guys doing well gosh darn i'm so are we go ahead sorry you go ahead no you go ahead (laughs) <laughs> uh would we be getting ready to go to our meeting at yams so that was anything we need something to do to... resembling the plan right you guys mm-hmm. uh uh had gotten a call uh uh last session to and you were gonna meet at ori's but yam was like i don't feel like driving all the way down to pacifica my place is much nicer let me invite you to my mcmansion in the executive zone um actually no i don't think he's mcmansion he's more like mcbeaverville luxury apartment kind of uh shit but uh not quite mcmansion yet no 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 i i i have a house i I leveled up what's what what is your uh what is the level of your uh your current uh living quarters right now do you remember uh it's not the the nicest house but it is a a, it's above an apartment well I basically gave you a condo with a lobby, map-wise, anyway. <laughs> okay. I will argue. Uh, it's okay. Like, on, it's, you know what? It, it's, it's still it's better than my guy. stinking little cube. Right? I mean, <laughs> nobody lives in a cube hotel. Um, so does Lovelace. Butterfly. butterfly <laughs> yeah, Butterfly, you, you were springing for an actual, like, con app, right? Or are you Cube Hotel too? No, no, I'm uh, in one of those uh, cargo home. Cargo thing. container, yeah. yeah. Cargo apartment, yeah. Cool, 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 cool. So, uh, you guys all kind of have to figure out what's going on. Yeah. Butterfly's gonna shoot to uh, Caltrop a message and just be like, "Need a ride to this obnoxious person's place? Are you able to give me a ride?" Uh, in the meantime, uh, Caltrop's just listening to loud music, trying to upgrade his car. All right, well, your agent starts buzzing. Yeah. He just looks, sees the agent buzzing, he's like, ah, fuck, they can wait a little bit. Goes back to upgrading the car real quick. Ooh, <laughs> nice! Me, Butterfly's getting me. a taste of her own medicine. Mm-hmm. Give me a land vehicle repair. Or land vehicle tech, tech, excuse me. Yeah, land vehicle tech. Give me a sec. (laughs) And... 
Oh, 16, pretty good. Right now, you're just giving it basic maintenance, tune-up, nothing really special, just kind of, you know, <laughs> making sure all the pistons are firing, make sure all the spark plugs are gapped right, making sure that the exhaust uh, 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 is, is coming through as clean as it could be, right? Because who gives a shit about pollution anymore? And then, of course, you know, oiling the machine gun that you've got strapped to the fucking top of that thing. Yeah. All righty then. So that being said, uh, after you get all that stuff finished up, and does he have to roll for that? He already uh, did. I already you, rolled. You already rolled. Oh my goodness! And I didn't switch the scenes. You didn't. You oh didn't. You goodness. bastard. I'm terrible. So uh, you 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 get all that stuff uh, done. Uh, uh, what what's what's? Uh, oh yeah, it's called um, uh, Golden Siete, right? Gold yeah, Gold Siete. Gold Siete. Gold Siete. Gold Siete. Yeah, so the gold Siete is looking in primo condition. And uh, you see, of course, flashing on uh, the screen of your agent is a um, missed call yeah. from Butterfly, who uh, has paid you for a few rides before. Seems like, at the very least, she thinks you're reliable for getting her from point A to point B as a combat cab operator. Yeah, reliable in that regard, but... Caltrop does not never recall having a good conversation. So <laughs> fair, fair, but, but uh, yeah, you're gonna Caltrop will call, call back. Yeah, right. he'll call back. All right, butterfly. A uh, couple hours go by, and you get a call back from the uh, driver you you tried to summon. Hey, a couple of hours. That means that she had time to do something. Was there um, something in particular you wanted to do, or are you just speaking in general? Yeah, um, she would like to make some, some boost, if that's okay. Uh, yeah, you could go ahead and make some, uh, some drugs during that time. Give me your, uh, farmer roll. Farm tech roll. Is there? That's the not the paramedics, but the pharmaceuticals, right? Yep. Yeah, the pharmaceuticals roll. There you go. All right, fourteen, fourteen. Uh, I would say you with it with the time that you had and a fourteen, you were able to get one dose off. Perfect. Um, and then yeah, I guess uh, seeing the fungal off, she'll assume that it's. Uh, the person she contacted, so she'll just pick up and... Hello? Yep. Hey, oh, so got your call. Oh, good. Um, I need a ride out to the exec zone. Alright, where's your current location? Shoot me the deets. Same place as last time. All right, be there in a bit. All right. Uh, Caltrop starts his journey to head towards old Japan town to pick up Butterfly. In the meantime, we've got Mr. Nobody and Lovelace. What are you guys up to? But give me two seconds, literally, well, 30 maybe seconds. I have to go grab a thing from the kitchen. Okay, well, you know what? I'm going to be... Uh you know, already in conversation with Lovelace and, and I will have uh, already called Caltrop and arranged to have him swing by and pick Lovelace and I up. So m the likelihood is that, um, you know, he he had already planned after he's finished repairing his car to swing by and pick us up. And uh, and I say, hey, Choom, yo, yo, we're here, man. <laughs> And uh, so he would he would swing by uh, Pacifica, the uh, that quality part of town. Uh, okay, I missed a I missed a beat. I told you I had to go to the kitchen to grab something really quick. And I told I heard you're traveling somewhere. Where are you traveling, and how are you getting there? Well, I was I was just saying that we I would have reached out to Caltrop earlier, and oh, uh, oh, oh. and just basically made arrangement as soon as he was done working on his car. To swing by and pick us up so he can, you know, just pick us up from Pacifica 
before he picks up Butterfly. So when Butterfly gets into the car, she sees Mr. Nobody's smiling face looking at her. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> Lovelace is there for the carpool, ready for some karaoke. <laughs> okay, so, oh, so, so. Don't go breaking uh, my heart. <laughs> that helps, that helps so, so Lovelace and Nobody were already together. <laughs> And apparently, Caltrop, you have a second missed call, not just the one. Well, you know what? I, I would have called him before he started working on his car. So, I mean, I know I no. know when to call Caltrop. See, Will I don't just call him Willie. I don't call Willie Nilly. Well, but see, he would have been one of the people. Up. He would have been one of the people that I called like 50 million times. While I was sick. <laughs> but did he pick up though? So Caltrop, yeah. when 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 Mr. Nobody called you, what, what, what were you were you working on your car? Were you ignoring the call? What's going on? I was asleep. You were sleeping. All right. Uh. So again, miss you have a second missed call. <laughs> Go ahead and figure your shit out if you guys uh uh I, I, I actually the only reason I'm being an ass about this is because I do kinda need to know the order of Caltrop's route. <laughs> <laughs> well yeah. i mean are you amenable to that uh Caltrop? yeah i'm not against it hold up i'll just i'll just answer the i'll just answer the missed call from mr nobody and basically we'll 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 cover all that other stuff and you can swing by uh pacifica and pick well, actually you know what we're not even going to ori so so we don't have to go to pacifica you just uh like in because uh, i'm in university well, I, I mean, yeah. The question is, where would you and Lovelace have convened, though? Yeah, I mean, well, Lovelace is closer to me in the university district than from her home. That is true. So we could just meet in the university district at the um, at the uh, university library, and uh, we could just look like a couple of uh, look like a couple of. Uh, uh, co-eds because we're, we're so young looking and vibrant mm -hmm. and i'll say hey so uh, philosophy 101 <laughs> am i right <laughs> fantastic so caltrop you get the the message that they want to ride from uh the university district to the executive zone so you've got two fairs wanting to go to the executive zone but they are in two different pickup locations i kind of need to know a what route are you planning to take you can see the city streets right in front of you you yeah. know you can see the highways i need to know how you plan to get there because um, i have interesting things set up along different routes <laughs> all right well i'm gonna go i'm gonna go of course start haywood but i'm gonna take a left into rancho coronado to head over up to uh cutting through south i want to make it to the university district first all right so i'm guessing you're gonna go west on the 16 then yeah, west on 16. All right. So you take west on 16 to go down to the university area, and yeah, nothing happens. You make it to the uh, university library with no incident. Well, there is that annoying traffic copter that, keep, that, that keeps following him. <laughs> <laughs> A... Uh, let me uh, let me ask a valid question to uh, Joe over there. Uh, how long are you in the traffic copter? I would prefer to uh, stall the party until you're actually in your apartment. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the Jippus is telling me 15, but I'm going to make it in 12. All right. That's that's I mean, I, I, I can I can kill 12 minutes. I insist on 11 minutes and 42 <laughs> seconds. <laughs> Man, uh, fucking tastic! So, uh, Caltrop, you arrive in the university district, and let me just go ahead and boop you over there. Um, I'm not gonna make you f actually follow the route. That's one of the cool things about being the DM. I can just drag you all the way across the map. Thusly, and Caltrop arrives, and his four seater has three empty seats. Woohoo! When Lovely he pulls up to Lovelace, and nobody. Hey, okay, fine. 
I'll, I guess that puts me in the back with Butterfly. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, my God. Lovely it's playing Slip out realizes Japanese what she's anime. done to Butterfly. Just ignore all of the bitten nails on the floor. <laughs> and the nosebleeds. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> seeing the predicament, yeah. Seeing this predicament, Caltrop just snickers to himself, but keeps it to himself as he begins to make his way towards Old Japan Town. Well, All right, yeah, so... I'm sure that we've had plenty of times where you've ha had opportunity to tease me about a girl that I was, uh, you know. Oh no! Yeah, he's pining after. The fact that you're gonna, yeah, the snicker was that you're probably gonna get your ass handed to you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, for right. sure. So. Uh, Caltrop gets back onto the 16, and uh, thankfully, the freeways are pretty clear today. There's not a huge uh, uh, bit of problems going on. Uh, you can see some general night city violence as you pass by on the streets below. You see booster gangers shooting it out. You see drug deals going down. You see homeless people being kicked off the streets by cops who don't give a fuck. You know, the real crimes. And yeah. uh, they, uh, you continue on down to the uh, to Old Japan Town. Yeah, down Cal 16. Trump just taking, a, taking a look, going, seeing all the carnage, and he's just like, oh my god, 30% off sale? <laughs> <laughs> For sure. Do, 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 do. And I, I'm, I'm hiding in the back seat, trying to make myself look as uh, innocuous as possible, and you know, don't want to uh, ruin things, you know, by you know coming off as too anxious, you know. Right, Lovely right, right. Oh, Lovelace is probably a little shocked. I think this part of Night City is new to her. She hasn't spent a lot of time driving around here. Maybe not shocked, but unnerved. The last time uh, when it was just Cyrus and I, you know, we kicked butt, but we certainly ran into some trouble. Yeah, but we handled it. <laughs> yeah, the, we did. By the way, before I, we go any further, I want to do a quick shout out to um, all the uh, fantastic folks in the uh, chat. Uh, Heather and Bailey and Nagatsu. Uh, big shout out to you guys. Uh, we're looking forward to uh, having some laughs here just as soon as we get caught up with things here and we can get, 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 jump in the chat there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, we, we, we totally appreciate how I want to say, uh, if I haven't said this before, I've watched a lot of different actual play RPG shows and I have never seen an audience this engaged and interactive with 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 what was happening and we just have the most amazing audience and i want to i i love looking forward to uh watching this this audience grow because you guys are amazing so my huge shout out to all y'all for sure and uh i don't think my abs are in uh, nagatsu's game although they are more than willing to make a cameo appearance for uh, the right fee <laughs> so anyway um as we were saying um uh is butterfly getting in the car yet <clears throat> sorry mm, what yeah that was that was definitely yeah. something that i was uh <laughs> curious about um as well um, she was waiting outside um and she just kind of pauses when she like she saw the car coming and she started walking like prepared for it to stop and then she mm -hmm. like pauses when she sees all the people in the car <laughs> and she kind of uh pierces her lips so that she doesn't grimace instead and yeah i just i, I at this point like I, yeah i'm just trying to get from point a to point b so i just pull out a megaphone saying paging dr butterfly <laughs> unnecessary <laughs> and she just gets in silently and uh hey! does her best to not not glance at nobody <laughs> mr nobody how are you it's so good to see you i i'll sit over here bye <laughs> i'm uh, okay mama shoot me another text you're very great at that 
Oh, <laughs> ouch. Lovelace is cracking up. Yeah, Caltrop's just, la Cal just laughing at this point, too. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I, I do shoot her a little text, um, uh, um, basically, just saying does, uh, sorry. Try to subtly side-eye him, though, to make sure he did actually get healed, because she didn't go, <laughs> and she, she was concerned. Yes, and uh, yeah, I, I, I show uh, lift up my shirt to show her my healed wounds, and uh, she. And what else does he show her? <laughs> <laughs> and the, the abs <laughs> are impeccable. Them six pack abs, yes, which yeah. apparently somebody in the somebody in the chat suggests they need to have their own spin off. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Nobody's abs. Uh, when he uh, shows her that the wound is fine, uh, she looks away disinterested <laughs> and sees the message on her phone, and she just uh, finally shuts her agent uh, and, and 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 the screen and looks away. <laughs> meanwhile, Mr. Nobody is rolling quarters on his stomach. <laughs> Flipping him, you know, like how belly dancers do. <laughs> Lovely texts butterfly a winky face emoji. Watching this all from the rear view mirror. <laughs> a butter butterfly sends her a customized little uh, uh, blank stared face with a absolutely not. <laughs> okay. This is, this is enough fun at my expense now. <laughs> all right so uh as you guys are uh pulling away from where you picked up butterfly and trying to get on to the 16 east to head back towards the executive zone you guys see something i'm not quite done setting up so give me one Hot and picking fucking second because I misnamed something and I need to rename it. So, uh, S Butterfly, how how's things? Are, yeah. Have you been yeah, keeping busy? What are, what, what are the what are the things happening as you guys are driving? I love this. I love how how freaking like tense this situation is. Just in what, the back seat of what, this car. I'm trying to break the ice and say, you know what? I I really. Yes, uh, some of us have things to do to fill our time. Well, you know what? I I was busy too. I wrote that fantastic piece with the and with the brain dance, you know, and and um, it got a mixed reception, but overall it was very positive. Uh, you know, um, lots of uh, it was a it was a controversial. You know what? And you know they say any any uh, word is good word. You know, that's what that's what they say. Right. <laughs> I appreciate it if you didn't randomly place me in your stories. Did you read that on a church billboard? Who genuinely <laughs> believes that advice? <laughs> well, you know, I, okay, I will leave you out of my future brain dances. Um, yes, all of them. <laughs> Yeah, actually, uh, uh, very specifically, somebody said, "Don't forget to equip them, Dave." Yeah, I, 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 I effed that up last time. Uh, yeah, no, I very specifically made sure all the tokens I needed for today were equipped. Um, <laughs> I suppose I will say. Uh, I remembered. All right. Uh, what are you saying, butterfly? Yeah, what are you saying, butterfly? Um, oh, she was just uh, looking at Miss Nobody, considering as she uh, says, "I suppose I will say it's." Interesting how you were able to do that while uh, still injured. So nice. Well, oh know. my God! Sound the alarm! Butterfly made a compliment. We were, we were, we were. Shit! What, well, you know what? Here. I mean, I was a deeply, I deeply admired your ability to, you know, heal yourself with that right? horrible As wound. As Mister Nobody is trying to speak, yeah. Caltrop slams on the brakes. Oh! Oh my goodness! And uh, give me Blake a screams, give me a re uh, give me just a straight reflexes check, just one d eight plus your reflex. Or sorry, d ten plus your reflexes. So click me a reflex. All right, give me a sec. Nobody, just nobody. 
Just oh, me? Just nobody. Okay. Just, okay. nobody. just nobody. Okay, gosh yeah. darn. Um, well. Because you weren't paying attention to what was happening in front of you. You were paying attention <laughs> to Butterfly. What am, what am I rolling again? Uh, uh, reflex, just straight just reflexes. Straight reflex. Straight reflexes. Okay. No luck or nothing, I guess. Okay, fine. Oh, you can add luck if you want. Nah, it's okay. Okay. Oh, not too bad. 13, you do not crack your head on the back seat. Or, or, or on the back of the front seat. Okay, cool. When the brakes come to a stop. And <clears throat> uh, what do you do as soon as uh, you uh, narrowly avoid hitting your face on the chair? Um, I try my best to look cool as my uh, f face and lips are smashed into the back of the seat in front of me. And so I, s s Butterfly kind of sees this slow motion. Yeah, and uh, it's just so graceful. Let me just say that it's it's graceful. Yes. Fantastic. So let me describe the scene that you are coming on to. All right. You, uh, you, as your, uh, you come across a postal service truck delivering a passage to a uh, package to a shop on the corner. Uh, the truck, the truck is pretty tricked out with an armored chassis, bulletproof glass, and an onboard machine gun. Man by a scrawny kid wearing a flak vest and a helmet that took about look about three sizes too big for him. The postal lady driving the truck is decked out in all black leathers and Kevlar. Her tech hair is styled in a way that makes it look like she has cat ears. When she sees you, she waves. She says hello in a usually squeaky voice. But you know what? It's not all fun and sunshine. It sounds like that might be some fun thing to check out, but no. As you get about four blocks away from where I was just describing that beautiful scene, you can hear the sound of gunfire. You see a large glass box sitting in the middle of the sidewalk. Inside, there's a pile of neatly stacked currency, a pistol, a rifle, and a teddy bear. Every few seconds, someone runs up and tries to smash it, all while bullets ricochet all around them. The street and walkways are crowded with people, guns drawn, shooting at each other. Some of the blazing away look like they might be gang connected, but there are about a dozen more that are just randomly shooting at the box or each other. It's a glass case filled with money, a pistol, a rifle, and a teddy bear. Oh, so it's kind of like one of those claw machines? Well, you don't know what it is, but everybody seems to be trying to kill each other to get at what it, all the stuff that's inside of it. I'm going to use an action to turn on my brain dance recorder. Fantastic. You are recording as a bunch of other pe uh, people are literally just like, again, like I said, occasionally somebody just goes up and tries to smash the box with a weapon. Nothing happens. It, it, it's clear, right? Like it's clear. It appears to be glass. But from the damage you are actively watching it take right now, it doesn't seem to be breaking whatsoever. Does, does, does it look like the container is open at the top? It is completely sealed. And it also looks like, you can even tell from a block away, it is thoroughly bolted to the street. Hmm. Like right in the middle of the street. Somebody came in and bolted a clear case filled with money, does two it, guns, and a teddy bear. And it, everybody on the block is fighting over it. Is there like a uh, port to uh, jack in? <laughs> Uh, what well, ports are, if you're talking about net running, that is, a, that would be access point, uh, to a net arc that Lovelace would have to find and she would have to scan to see if she could find one. Okay. Hey, Lovelace. Can you drive through this, <laughs> Hey, nobody. <laughs> do you see uh, any, uh, do you see any it, access yeah. points, uh, Lovelace? Uh, I don't know, nobody. Let me take a look. <laughs> 
<laughs> All right, Lovelace, give me a scanner check. <laughs> you see four portable net arcs flying in the sky. As you look up to see what your scanner might be pointing out to you, there are a bunch of mini drones. So presumably those uh, net arcs are portable net arcs that are attached to the mini drones themselves. Okay. Can I see what kind of drones are th they are? Do they have cameras? Uh, you. They are uh, flying all around the scene. They're like not directly overhead. They seem to be trying to capture different angles as well. All okay. pro most likely recording. You cannot. You don't know there are cameras on them unless you actually uh, interface with the net arcs themselves. Mm -hmm. But it's reasonable to assume. I mean, what else would they be doing? Yes, they they, they are flitting around. There's no shooting. They, they they are not firing on anybody. Literally just flitting around, and they seem to be stopping at certain points, catching different angles, etc. So presumably, yeah, somebody's fucking recording this shit. Okay, but I wouldn't be able to get close enough to hack. Uh, well, you could if you were near a drone, and the drones are flying all around the battlefield. So, yes. Like, they're not overhead. They are... They, they I, I, Here, I'll even just put them out on the board so that I'm not being a complete asshole and saying that there are imaginary things when I can literally just drop air drones onto the fucking map. Bam... And bam. Four air drones just flying around. Uh, seeming to definitely be capturing the information. Yes. Okay, so I turn back to nobody and say, looks like there's uh, about four drones around there. My guess would be that they're cameras. If we get closer, I could probably hack one, but I don't know how valuable they would be. Hmm. What exactly are you both planning? We're just going to drive someone through. Play, yeah, someone please tell me we're, nobody's going to actually waste their time on a damn box in the middle of the road. Well, I'm an, I'm just saying that maybe, you know, we could hack into it. And, but, but the thing is, we can't really do that. If we open it up, everybody else is going to go piling mm -hmm. in and we're not going to be able to get anything anyway. So I don't know. Can we get around uh, this? You do notice some booster gangers, obviously affiliated people, are also going for this, and they are shooting at each other and random citizens. There are people who are, I mean, maybe due to their own stupidity, but there are people in danger right now. Well, I think it's time we got in, we, we go into action, team. What do you think? Uh, wait, plan, we don't have our leader here. Yeah. Not here. Or, we don't... or plan, plan B, uh, Butterfly, I just... Is it is it possible that we could just diagnose this whole entire group of Alzheimer's? Because I don't recall this being a problem. Uh, I mean, wait, but we're. I we don't, don't have anything that can massively affect a whole group of people. I'd have to go at them all one at a time with a syringe, with my. Okay. Hypo. I could my, I could I like stick that. my head out of the the car and say, "Okay, people." We're recording a brain dance here. I need everybody to get into first position. Uh, we need we need everybody on the left to do plies. Everybody on the right to do the the high reaches and the kick steps. Give me a human perception check, Mister Nobody. <laughs> what? Give me a human perception check. Oh my god. Okay, fine. Okay. All right. All right. Here we go. Uh, I'm just going to roll this straight. Oh, not bad. 18. That 18, that 18 clues you into the fact that if anybody heard you, but you know, because there's a lot of gunfire and shouting and stuff. Uh -huh. If anybody heard you, they care way more about this big box of money. Well, gosh darn, that's no, that's just not right. Did I mention this chest is accurately the size of a car filled with eddies two guns and a teddy bear i gotta keep mentioning the teddy bear well if that's the case then you know what can we we got to get around this we got we, we we've got an important dinner 
It the, does seem that first. nobody. It does seem that nobody is paying you any fucking attention if you are not approaching the uh, box. So nobody's shooting at you when you're not going for the box. I don't know. You guys feel all right leaving all these? Well, they're not innocent people, but 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 all these bystanders free to getting hurt. I don't. Yep. I don't feel like getting my death filmed in 4K. So yeah, I'm totally fine. <laughs> <laughs> hey, oh, hey. there goes my content for the day. <laughs> it is the, it is the dark as we future. Pass by. It is the dark future. We are at least at 32k by now. Yeah. Well, you know what? I I get. I just get a few shots, and uh, um, I'm also going to zero in on the gangers' faces, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so that maybe I can use this as evidence when we go to the cops later on. All right. You zoom in on the gangers. Give me a streetwise check. Okay. Gosh dang. This I'm going to add uh, a luck point to. Okay. Yeah, that oh, that that oh, that helped a lot. God. That helped a lot. Take ten IP for your critical <laughs> failure. Um, and yeah, you don't know who those fucking gangs are. You don't know who they're affiliated with whatsoever. I just get uh, I just get everybody's faces in there and and like yeah, zoom in real I, quick. Yeah, can I pull out my binoculars and attempt to do a street wise as well? I mean, you you are you're not moving. You're the driver, so you absolutely can decide what you do before you start driving again. <laughs> yep, I'll I'll take a look, see if I can recognize him before I just say, yeah, we're just driving off. <laughs> all right, all right. Sixteen is good. You recognize both gangs actually with the sixteen. You recognize the gang to the north, uh, or at least for the most part, they seem to be most of the uh, gang members to the north of the box seem to be members of the albino alligators. While as uh, the gang to the south over here tends to be uh, that they're those are all members of the piranhas. Now the piranhas are a really really well known gang. Obviously, everybody knows the fucking Piranhas. They're one of the biggest uh, gangs in Night City. But <laughs> Albino Alligators, that's a new one. You haven't even heard of them. They're, they're, but but you, 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 you catch with your binoculars, like, their, their symbol, <laughs> their patch or whatever. And it just, I mean, like, it's just got a picture of a white alligator on there and says Albino Alligators uh, on the flash over the patch. So it's kind of easy to figure out who they're identifying as even though you've never fucking heard of them before. Uh, I just want to say that, uh, uh, you know what, Heather, you did not take my luck. I make my own luck. It's, it's often <laughs> shitty, but I make my own luck. Thank you, though, for considering about it. Considering me. She tries to blame herself for your bad roles. Yeah, so uh, I, 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 as many bad roles as you're likely going to have, I definitely don't want her to feel the the, the, the personal pain of owning the, the responsibility of that. That's all on you. So I see Caltrop pulling out his uh, binoculars and I say, okay, dude, my chum, which one should I be focusing on with my uh, brain dance recorder? Uh, well, if you're wanting to do so, I'd focus <laughs> on the party animals of Night City themselves, the piranhas. Okay, uh, they're the ones to the to the south. Okay, yeah, so, south. All right, so I'm zooming in on all of the uh, the bad looking so, uh, ones, yeah. the biggest baddest looking uh, ones. Right now, of course, you do see a yeah. So it's the ones that are kind of on this side of the street, right? Those are all the piranhas, and then the ones that are on this side of the street, those are all albino alligators. But then intermixed throughout is a bunch of citizens, and people are all shooting at each other. It's like it, it's fucking anarchy right here, complete anarchy. Okay. So is that different from regular anarchy? The fucking anarchy? Uh, uh yes, yes. It okay. is slightly different than regular oh. anarchy. <laughs> oh damn, it's a Wednesday instead of a Tuesday in our oh, city. No. Crazy. Yep. Yes, they got the senior discounts down at uh Lenny's. <laughs> so I'm guessing if I'm hearing this right, understanding this correctly, uh Caltrop, you're planning to just keep, you know, drive maybe not through people, but like slowly try and get around the crowd. And um, I will just tell you right now, as long as it doesn't look like you are trying to get to the box, 
You're, uh, nobody is shooting at you. However, you are going to take some stray bullets and you are going to lose seven points of SDP on the uh, gold siete. All right, okay. But yeah, Just... other than that, I'm not intentionally trying to run somebody over. All right. So you lose seven points of uh, SB SDP on the Gold Siete, moving through, trying to avoid. Yeah, obviously I'm just dragging you straight. You didn't hit all those people, blah, 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 blah. And- Oh, so you... we're not in that cab there? No, you were in, you were with Caltrop. You were, oh, okay. I had you all in a freaking group. Oh, I didn't see that, sorry. I, I was in the wrong part of the map, sorry. Okay. <laughs> oh, well. Okay, anyway. Um... Bye-bye, you go. Uh, you guys I will, leave I will this say area. Before, I will say before they oh. quickly move on, though, as they get far away enough, Caltrop immediately jumps out of the car. It's just like, please tell me they didn't skim any paint. Please tell me they didn't skim any paint. Please tell me they didn't skim any paint. Um, I mean, definitely there is paint peeling where bullet holes were. Uh... I, I, the rest of the ride, I'm basically in my... Give me a, actually, you know what? Give me a percentile. Give me a percentile and call high or low. Go uh, for it, Caltrop. Percentile, high or mm -hmm. low? Mm-hmm. Uh, low... Low 10? <laughs> uh... No, oh, was, no, no, uh, so did you roll a percentile? What was the total? Oh, oh, I didn't roll, oh, oh, I had to roll, oh, sh okay, my bad. Roll a my percentile, bad. but I want you to call high or low. Oh, 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 okay, okay. That's a D100. Yeah. Yep, yep, yeah. give me a sec, yeah. give me a sec. D100 and the dice tray, yep. Yep, had no idea. And uh, okay. watching the stream, I realized my rolls are currently on private mode, so I will go ahead and change my settings so that you guys can see my rolls well you, you shot okay. it out as soon as it hit so it wasn't a big deal yeah okay so yeah about to roll it and i'm gonna bet on low Ooh. all right That's it is low. high all seven points of that damage was to your bulletproof glass so oh, that's a good thing right well yes and no he can repair the armor of the car. He has to replace the bulletproof glass. Ooh, ouch. So uh, the car itself can be repaired. The glass has to be replaced. Once the seven, once once all of the uh, SDP of his bulletproof glass goes down, or actually technically it's HP, it works like cover. Once it, uh, all of the bulletproof glass takes all of its HP and damage, there is no more bulletproof glass okay i am going to uh uh spend the rest of the ride uh with my uh brain dance player editor on my head mm -hmm. and i'm going to be going through and picking out the uh the you know the different faces and kind of making a like a uh rap sheet for the different people that were there yeah caltrop's just silently driving but constantly talking to himself just saying Usa. <laughs> All Usa. right. And Caltrop, <laughs> you make it to the gates of the executive zone. And uh, let's go ahead and. I just did that. Zoom, zoom. Oh, you just did that. Oh, did I just do the thing that you did? Yes. I'm sorry. That's okay. Um, I, I'm on a 10 second delay, so I didn't see it happen on the screen yet. Uh. <laughs> Forgive me. No worries. Uh, all right. So you guys see uh, at the gates of the um, of the executive zone. Like I said, you guys see. Let me grab the guy. You guys see this security officer at the gate. Hello, people. I am a security officer. And he is at the gate, and he, of course, is not going to let you in unless you are cleared to enter. Uh, I'll let I'll let Caltrop do the talking. 
That's a good idea, right? <laughs> <laughs> you are the driver, right? So he is, you know, roll down your window, bulletproof or not, and uh, yeah. uh, he, you know, the gate's not opening unless you tell him why you're here. Hi, hola, como estas, whatever the fuck your language is. Um, we need to talk to uh, executive in here. Yeah. Right, give me a or... conversation roll with a minus two penalty. Hey. Okay. All right. Minus two. I'll throw in one luck because why not? Oh, oh wow. Yeah. Well, take 10 IP for that critical success. And. <clears throat> And, strangely enough, dude wasn't offended by being cussed at. <laughs> he just he just takes it in stride and says, yeah, you know, hey, I just, I got to know why you're here, Chum. I got to see who, I, I need to confirm that you're on the list. Don't worry about it. Uh, we're here to see an executive guy by the name of Gam Spurts. Well, who are you? I need to confirm that you're on the list. Caltrop. I, uh, Your name is Caltrop. People... Okay, yeah, pause that. With... Oh. Pause that. Hey, Yam. Yes? Hey, you're not in the traffic copter anymore. No, I was able to crash land it. Man, fucking tastic. <laughs> so, uh, you, you, you get to have some fun. Now that I know for a fact that you are here, I'm pulling you into your apartment so that you can see. Let's go ahead and check out Yamspert's awesome fucking apartment, everybody. Why don't you show us off your apartment like it's an episode of Cribs? Hey, yo, what's up, everybody? Welcome to my crib. I heard you like a house, so we put a house in it. <laughs> I heard you like a house, so we put a house in it. Oh, I fuck, I'm dying. I don't know. I just like I, I just wanted to bring you in and just like give you an opportunity to just be Yamspurts for a second since uh, you've been out of this whole first half. Yeah, don't mind me as I just look around my apartment, uh, make sure everything looks clean and tidy, even though I was going to go in the guest bedroom. Uh, I did want to ask: uh, Are Limbo and or Frizz here for this meeting? Uh, yes, I specifically invited them because I wanted them to be Both. here for this. Both, okay. All right, so Limbo is, uh, uh, let's just say, uh, he's actually crashing in the guest bedroom right now. And then Frizz is um, actually sitting on her laptop at the table over here, just uh, being very, very, you know, might as well get some work done. Uh, of some kind while uh, uh, we're waiting for people. And uh, yeah, so this is Yamspert's fucking luxury apartment brought to you by Cyber Maps. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, Cyber Maps. Go to Patreon slash Cyber Maps and uh, enjoy some of the finest maps that you can bring to your own tabletop. Did, 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 I, did I fulfill my obligation? Yes. Yeah, but you know what? We never got Yamspert's intro with uh, the purple nurple and all that. I mean, we, we well, I did do a little guest spot for uh, for Dubby, but by all means, you know what? Especially since we are about to go to our half halftime break, this might be an excellent time after Yamspert's does his crib style intro to maybe throw in a uh, a Dubby ad while we're at it. Think you got it? You think you got it in you? Joe? Oh, I've got plenty in me. All right. So here we go. This is Yam Spurt's episode of Cribs slash Drink Dubby. Hey, yo, welcome to the hallway outside my crib, everybody. It's Yam Sports. Spurts. Can't say my own name. I had too much Dubby. We'll talk about that in a minute. Uh, but come on inside. This is the entrance. I didn't just discover that a couple minutes ago. So follow me. <laughs> 
So, welcome. You have my uh, 4A little uh, hall walkway with a little uh, half wall into our living and dining area. We got uh, my lovely assistant and uh, team member, Frizz, hard at work. Please don't bother her. Yeah, Frizz. Uh, There's some random corporate bullshit on the background of the TV. We could ignore that. Uh, Here to my... Hold on, as I negotiate my body the right way. My right, we have a little... I don't know what that bathroom. is. That's, that's, a a, that's a guest bathroom. Yep, yep. Two people can pee at the same time. If you're into that, if not, you can go one at a time. Dick, you jackass. Nope, I have two urinals. Fuck you. <laughs> uh, jackass and Cribs are two different shows. Excuse me. Oh right, sorry. I was I was crossing the MTV streams there. Yes. Uh, not for music anymore, people. That's the the, the that's, that's right. That, this is the way. <laughs> so so come on down here. We'll take you. Uh, show you my uh, guest bedroom down in this area. Here we can fucking limbo's asleep. Uh, yeah, that's limbo. Another wonderful team member I have uh, snoring away. Uh, but this is my guest bedroom for all my guests. Uh, yes, I have many guests. I'm a very popular guy. I don't question it. Um, there's no that's not dust. Fuck you. Uh, we're gonna shut this door. Uh, then we're taking you right down into my closet. I'm gonna use the bottom half because that's all I can reach. But hey, you know what? Adapt and improve. <laughs> and here we have the master bag. We have yes. we have established that Yam Spurts is a fucking midget, right? Or wait, no, sorry, little person. Uh, he's not that short. He is just <laughs> uh, uh, noticeably shorter than every other executive. Uh, barely, barely five foot. Uh, but this is my master bath where I uh, leave my body. Foot, and that's not that short. Are you? Oh my god. Hey, I, I in real life, I'm over six, so that's short it's to me. It's called Kobe. I'm dead. Right, I'm right, Kobe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But let uh, him let him cope. We've, we've got my lovely bathroom, my my standing shower. Here I have my actual bidet and uh, toilet. Um, I don't use the bidet. I, it's just there uh but here you see all my oh look is that an empty w container let me just put that in the trash and let's get out of here and, check out the and i have been in here before today absolutely and this is my my master bedroom you're probably thinking yeah do you need all that bad no but i'm like exact and i can afford it so why not uh you've got my private little workstation here um that is by the way completely covered in a, in a giant mess it's that the, it's the the red line meme of what's going on, who's connected to what, and none of it makes sense to anyone but me. Uh, and here we have my my uh, open style closet because again, I only need half the space, so doesn't doesn't really bother me. And here we got a, a nice, lovely view of the exec zone over here, where we can see all sorts of traffic going on. Um, sometimes I just look out here and go, "Wow, Night City is really nice when you live in the right spot." I know it's pretty clean here. But then let's let's take a closer look into what we got going on in our living situation. We got a nice uh, L couch, a little uh, dug-in area with a, a recliner. We got a, a kitchen table, uh, some viewing chairs over in the corner. Sometimes I like to you know sit and watch out my windows. And then over here, oh look at that! Is that a wall full of dubby energy? What is that? Oh, you don't know? Well, luckily the answer is here to tell you. Dubby energy is the energy of the future. It is a jitterless energy uh, powder. Um, so you, you know, mix and match as, uh, you see fit, or as I recommend following directions, because directions got us where we are here, so without them, I wouldn't be the exec I am today. Uh, and funny enough, it's not made from, um, coffee, it's made from, uh, coffee fruit. Am I correct? Am I pronouncing that it's correctly? It's not made coffee? from coffee beans, it's made from coffee fruit extract. Extract, sorry, I, it's, I'm not... I don't do the media thing. That's the guy sleeping in the other room. He does that. <laughs> uh, but yeah, Dubby's great. Um, I actually just put an order at a, a above table. Joe here, not Yam. I actually did just put an order in the other day. Um, got tracking information within like 24 hours. Okay, well, now I know where our $120 fucking order just came from. <laughs> Sorry, they got me with the hey, do you want to save another like 50% and order a third one? I was like, well, I'm not dumb. I know how to save money. And I. Dude, Sputter Media just made $9.10 off your ass. I ain't complaining. <laughs> that was my, that was our commission from your purchase. You're welcome. I hope and you enjoy you'll, that. You'll get that your three cents. You'll coffee. get your three cents commission uh, in right. the mail. <laughs> uh, but yeah, super excited. I don't remember what flavors I ordered. 
I actually am drawing a complete blank, but uh, I got flavor A, B, and C, and I'm super excited to try it. Um, but yeah, uh, as I said before, I really liked it. I drink energy drinks all the time, and I'm excited to try uh, Delby for a couple days in a row, because I tried it once, and it didn't make me jittery, or at least any more jittery than I normally am as a person. I mean, right? Yeah, because I was about to say the same thing, too, right? Like, no jitters, but, like, I'm already kind of, like, a high-strung person. But uh, thank you very much. And I do want to say, uh, yes, just to echo what uh, Joe was saying, we're not just trying to push a product on you guys that uh, none of us have tried, right? So uh, I enjoy it. It's really good. Uh, Joe seems to enjoy it. It's really good. I can't speak for any of the other cast members. I think we're the only two who have actually purchased Dubby so far. Uh, but, um, yeah, the, uh, the other thing I wanted to say, interestingly enough, so I was trying to, I was trying to push it on my ex-wife, just like, literally, just like, if I could sell her, I could sell anybody, right? So, uh, I tried to push it on my ex-wife, she's like, well, is it, is it, uh, uh, fizzy? Is it carbonated like monsters? Because she likes the carbonated stuff. I was like, oh, no, 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 it's powdered, so you mix it yourself. And I was like, well, you know what? What if I just, like, took some fucking boobly? So I took, uh, I've got the French, uh, the, the, the fruit punch dubby and I took uh, ch uh, cherry flavored boobly and I mixed it with that instead of straight water. And oh my God. <laughs> so like, I'm not necessarily trying to pug, plug boobly, but if you want to add some seltzer to it, it's doable. All right, with that note, this is a great time to go ahead and say we are going to our 10 minute break, ladies and gentlemen, and we will come back and we will see Yam Spurts and the rest of the party. <laughs> yeah, we'll be, uh, I'll, uh, this is exciting. This is like the big, nicest place I've seen in months. <laughs> uh, all right, ladies and gentlemen, anything you guys want to say before we go on break? We'll see you guys in 10. Anybody all else right. want to say right. you in 10? It is 8.10 by my clock. We will be returning at 8.20. See you guys in 10 minutes and drink Dubby. Latest. And we're back. Hello, everybody. Woohoo. Oh, holy Hello. shit. I ju I'm just reading the fucking, somebody wrote a rap about me. Obviously, it's got to be Bailey. Like, I didn't see... Yes, I, it's like, fantastic. It's already, it's, it's already scrolled up past where I can see whose name it is, but it, I it mean, is, who else would it be? It's Bailey and oh, Bailey. I'm, I'm going to copy and paste it into the... Uh, into, Please uh, do. That is... I Because I'm I, like, it's scrolling up. I can only see the bottom half now, but I was like, it's in uh, plans are churning. He'll leave the Chumbas burning. It's in Night oh, City man. Legends. I put it in I Night City it. Legends. I love it. I love it. Oh, my God. Can we, can we just... I'm going to take a moment. Some super fan appreciation. I'm going to try to wrap this. Okay, I don't I don't know. Uh I'm I'm gonna try and assume the beat. I might be fucking this up. Alright. <clears throat> Here we go. <laughs> Where are the chips gonna fall? Where are the thugs gonna brawl? Well, Dave is on call, he's gonna tell it all. While the knights are learning and we get real concerned, and Dave's plans are churning, he'll leave the chumbas burning, though the ups and down. The crew will have some frowns, but Dave will make it sound, he'll bring the plot around. It may get really tense. There may be people on the fence, but the story will be dense, so chums, go pay your rent. Ooh. Ooh. I, I, I know I fucked it up hey. a couple times there. I know oh. I fucked it up a little bit. Though. Hey! So, oh! Um, hey! That was that was just from just trying to fucking like just find the beat right in the moment. I think I got it okay-ish. Chum, there um, it is. A chum, oh, there it is. All right. All right. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah. Uh, what I wanted to ask, uh, Yam Spurts, uh, after he got done with his fantastic crib style intro to the home uh what were your exact instructions at the gate um uh, i gave them everyone's name and to let them in there come to see me okay so cool no hassles uh i i was just wondering oh, if your, wait, if wait, your I, instructions were ambiguous and i and the guard would have been able to fuck with them a little bit longer well now that you've said that i'll keep that in mind for next time <laughs> Alrighty then. So, uh, that being said, uh, the Cyber Knights arrive outside of the lobby of Yamspert's uh, premium executive apartment. This is pretty cool. Uh, yes. Yeah. Shall we... Uh... Shall we head on in, guys? 
Um, uh, I try to walk straight, but these diagonal <laughs> tiles don't let me, but it's okay. Man, you keep complaining about the hex. <laughs> you, can you, you can you walk you straight know, on your I, own? I will say, I will say, I will say, front front entrances tend to be near the front. <laughs> I don't know where okay. the hell you guys are, we are going. Are even going yes. to the door? Okay. Uh, I there think so. No oh, we're walking down the. Uh, I'm walking down the alleyway. That's what we're doing. You're, you're walking out of the parking structure. Maybe that's where I should have started you. Oh. <laughs> well, see, that's what you get for letting uh, Mr. Nobody lead the way. <laughs> so Lovely. here you are just... in the lobby of Yam Spurt's ap uh, apartment condo. And oh, you, see, not... you see Meryl sitting there behind the front desk. This is one of her many many jobs in Night City. Clerk at this particular executive suite. Hey, Meryl, good to see you again. You might remember her from the last time. Well, no, sorry, that's the Cube Hotel, right? The, yeah, she was the uh, she was the receptionist at the Cube Hotel. I'm I'm kind of doing a thing with her. Like she's like just the general receptionist <laughs> everywhere you go. Yeah. Uh, Kind of like uh, what is it, Scott uh, Pilgrim versus the World? That I was uh, his thinking sister? more like along the lines of like Nurse Joy or or Officer Jenny, but okay. There we go. Well, that's her, his si his <laughs> sister his sister like worked everywhere. Yeah, that's right, a, right, that's right, right. I respect the Nurse Joy Officer Jenny. I see. <laughs> yeah, that's the energy I was getting. Uh, right, right, right. So here you are, and uh, there is you know this is the lobby. This is the the front entrance. And you do see uh, a sign up in this area right here that indicates bathrooms this way. And you see uh, a sign that says security office this way. And then you see a sign that says kitchenette back that way. There's a little kind of just seating waiting area right here. Um, I, I'll be right back. I'll, I'll, I'm going to, um, I got to hit the boys room. I'll, I'll be right back. Well, uh, there there are no chooms and chumbadas here. It is just a single gender bathroom, or all gender. Excuse me, that's the right term, not single gender. All gender bathroom. That's okay. Uh, but yeah, uh, you go in there, and there are, uh, there's two sinks and two stalls. I'm. This is exciting. Um, I uh, do my business. Uh... Well, while Mister Nobody is uh, <laughs> camped out on the throne over here, what are the rest of you doing? I'm gonna go pop Excuse a squat on, on the couch. Oh, okay. It's true. I mean, technically, the only you've only been invited as the ride, right? So yep. far, oh, nobody's yeah. really brought you into the business. Yep. I'm gonna take a moment and like sit next to sit near Caltrop and kind of like say, "So, uh, what's up, buddy? You know what? Thank you so much for giving us the ride." And I. Uh, I, uh, let me, you know what? I want to see how many eddies I have available. Oh, I have, I have a That's few. True. Eddies. Uh, by the way, each of you does owe Caltrop 50 eddies for the ride. You do. Yeah. So I, I, I shoot him, oh. uh, I shoot him 50 eddies. I forgot to say it, but, uh, you would have got your 50 eddies from Butterfly before right. you even gave her her ride. So, all right. So, yeah, um, go ahead. Lovely. And... It's also paid. Yeah. Yeah. He takes Nightmo. Right, instead of Venmo, we don't have Venmo. It's yeah. not vendor money. It's it's Nightmo. It's Night City money. So no, you well, can well for you me it's Nightmo Momo. Him. Is it Momo? It's oh, Momo okay. for me. Yeah. So 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 Mr. Nobody's gonna Momo some Momo. Yeah, it's Momo. And personally, Caltrop is on the FAFO tier when you're paying them. Family and friends only. Ba ba boom. No, it's because if you don't pay, you're going to fuck around and find out. <laughs> oh, I thought it was family and friends only discount. <laughs> that was epic. <laughs> oh. oh, man. You know, I thought we went, went back a ways. Fuck around and find out. <laughs> fucking brilliant but oh love lace and butterfly uh are you fucking saying Meryl. anything to meryl or are you uh what's up me yeah i think butterfly was saying something 
Yeah, I thought I heard her saying something too. That's why I was coming over here. Yeah, um, she approaches Meryl and she says, excuse me. Yes, how can I help you? Where uh, she'll check her agent to double check what the guy's name is. Um, and she looked back, she looks, she looks back up. Uh, Yam, uh, Mr. Yam should be expecting uh, us. Can you inform him that his group is here to see him? Uh, okay, so that asks, begs the question, Mr. Spurts, Yam. Uh, what were your instructions with the receptionist in the lobby? Uh, make him wait for five minutes and then send him up. Oh, okay. And I so, spend those five minutes dusting and tidying so I don't look like a slob. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. And what about Limbo? Is he still just going to remain crashed out in the back, or are you going to uh, wake his ass up? I'm not waking him up unless I need him. He okay, got it. Okay, got it. Fantastic. I'm going to take a moment uh, to uh, to spend some time talking to Caltrop and say, Machum, you know what? I appreciate the ride, but you know I want to. I think you, you know, have proven yourself. You did so awesome at the Battle of the Bands, looking after the important stuff, and I really would like to bring you in. And, you know, have you join us uh, with this, uh, you know, this mission we're kind of doing. We're trying to find out, you know, there's some there's some good eddies in it. We'd love to have you on board. You Are you into it? Are you interested? Uh, well, I got bills to pay. So if you're if you're inviting me, I don't I'm not going to say no. Yeah, you uh, don't even care about the details of the job. Nah. Well, yeah, I do. I do care about the deeds. I'm but saying, he knows I'm me. He knows I would. <laughs> he knows I wouldn't invite him into something that was, you know, frivolous or. Well, maybe or, I or want silly. you to RP. Well, maybe I want you to RP out explaining the details yeah. of the job. Okay, we can do that. <laughs> All right. So yeah. Okay. Yeah, we go. I know we go way back, but if, but before I do, like full on say yes, you need to tell me what exactly this gig is about. All right, so here's the deal. I already paid you uh, your share for getting um, Weasel. Yeah, you know, right. remember you held on to him for us during that whole battle, which was amazing. And uh, so we turned him in. Turns out this Weasel may have some info on that. That was uh, some information about the, some data that was stolen from the Cyberdex at the show, or from from the. Uh, you know the, the NetArcs. Uh, net, net arcs and uh i think i think we could be in for some really good uh eddies because uh um lovelace has a boss that wants to pay big money and also uh you know yam spurts is also very eager to find out about this information so I think we could, you know, make, stand to make a good, good chunk of eddies if we just, you know, stick tag along, help, uh, you know, oh, ease, uh, ease uh, Weasel's uh, mouth muscles a little, you know, make sure he talks really easily, and gives us the information we need. We can probably stand to make a good, sizable chunk of eddies. How was that? Do I have to roll? <laughs> uh, and I'm not gonna make you roll for just player RP now. Okay. Yeah, I, I would say no to that too. <laughs> okay, you're so you're saying no to my. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> no to he's saying no no to, no to rolling against accepting okay. the job. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, so it's been spelled out, and five minutes have passed, and Meryl yeah. here says. Oh, oh, wait, before I say what she says, Mr. Spurts, Mr. Yam Spurts, let me ask you, what floor are you on? Um, and it, it, this is definitely a tall... A tall building. Like, each well, floor, each floor is its own, like, condominium. Well, to clarify, as I said, I do actually technically live in a house, but for now it's a condo, so I will just be on the coolest floor if there's a 420 or a I'm going to say, in general, this is what passes for a house. Okay, uh, that's fair. I don't know anything about my city. You are the DM. Yeah. DM. Uh, yeah, I whatever. Mean, the to what actually have your own building, that 
is level 10 exact. Yeah, you gotta be like way up on the corporate ladder to have your own building. That's fair. Alright. Um, <laughs> again, whatever whatever the coolest uh, actually, hold on. You know what? Let's we'll settle Pick this. Pick a number. Pick a number between 1 and 100. 69. 69. He said it. Okay. He said so, it. I love it. He said it. <laughs> Thank you, Joe. You're the best. So <laughs> Meryl says, Meryl says, um, Mr. Spurts will see you now. Unfortunately, the elevator is out of order. <laughs> and so you're going to have to climb <laughs> the 69th floor. I uh, pull out my mono wire and it's, I put a little batarang on the end of it. Yeah, not, I, I love where your head is at, but since grappling gun is an actual item in the game, no, you cannot use your mono wire as a grappling gun. Yeah, I'm just gonna say, I, <laughs> wow, damn, that's crazy. See you guys at the floor. I'm just gonna pull out my grapple gun. <laughs> he does have a grapple gun with him. Yes, I will gun, follow him. Is, actually, what is, the, what is the range of that? Sixty-nine. <laughs> Yeah, but but that's gonna be times thirty 10 meters. Feet. That's what she said. Yeah, thirty <laughs> meters is not even close to the sixty ninth floor. Uh, well, while they're do all it doing in... that, butterfly just kind of silently nodded, and she's already walking. Up he, you floor. know what? He could do it in spurts. I can't believe oh! nobody. I can't believe nobody <laughs> thought like, well, we could try and repair the elevator. Oh man. I just heard a voice from the heavens giving me divine <laughs> inspiration. I think oh. with Butterfly oh, and I's newfound tech abilities, we should try to repair the elevator. I'll That'd tell you what, who, That's a good you idea. guys can do a basic tech roll, and uh, since you're helping each other, and uh, you guys pick who makes the roll, and that person gets a plus two circumstance bonus. Yes, you can add luck to this if you want. I, I will just tell you now okay. that Butterfly is doing this begrudgingly because she wanted to make Gams wait. She didn't want to go <laughs> uh, immediately. <laughs> she wanted to take the stand. Yeah. We can press everything on the way up, girl. Nagatsu wants, just, to, uh, wants yeah. to know what kind of exec building has a broken elevator. The kind of exec building that had a bozo sneak in and drop a grenade in the elevator shaft. He's in Arasaka Tower? <laughs> no. Um, you want to make the roll with the plus two? Yeah, I'll make it. I have a base I'm just saying, 14. it's a nice city. Shit can be broken for all kinds of reasons, including some clown asshole sneaks in and drops a grenade down an elevator shaft. And that's exactly what Meryl tells you what happened. So I add two to my mods? So yep, if you're making the uh, roll for the both of you, you <laughs> add a plus two circumstantial mod and any luck you plan to add. Okay. Cool. Hey, oh it. damn and you are able to figure out exactly what is broken after a good i want to say it it takes a good 10 minutes for you to fix the problem but you are able to bypass the relay that got mainly damaged that was preventing the elevator from working here's the thing there is other damage there is a chance there's damage that you didn't notice right away and it was a grenade blast that took this elevator out. Do you, do you trust it? Do you trust your work? Butterfly's gonna double check it. <laughs> All right, give me a, um, give me a conceal reveal hidden. Um, the that's the conceal reveal object. Yeah, that that one. Nice. You find a chunk of shrapnel that was right in the braking system. Uh -huh. And so you take the opportunity to fix that. It does take another 10 minutes for you to remove that chunk of shrapnel. So Yamspurts has now been waiting for 20 minutes past his five minute time, but the elevator works. I assume what she wanted. I Dang. assume these guys are going to be late anyway. Um... <laughs> But if I was gonna look at Lovelace and give her kind of a nod, kind of hot, and she'll you know offer a fist bump. Oh, please fist bumps and then does the like explosion out. Uh, butterfly uh, hesitates, but then she'll like D 
do delayed, but she'll do it back. All right, so we have fist bump. Found the alarm. Butterflies being nice again. Woo! Uh, <laughs> and uh, Mister Nobody, Mister Nobody runs up with his fist after everybody's gone and on. Started walked into the elevator, <laughs> and they're gone. Oh, play. Me, me, me too. No. All okay. right. Well, uh, Mr. Nobody and Caltrop, you guys hear the ding of the elevator functioning again. Um, Butterfly will shoot Caltrop a message and be like, elevator's working. Lovely Cal just yells Cal across the lobby. Yo, nobody, Caltrop, get over here. Oh. Damn, <laughs> damn, I actually felt like, felt like using my gun today. Oh, well. What, on an elevator? No, no, the 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 uh, oh, yeah, yeah, so a 69th floor. If he would have said, like, oh, yeah, I'm on like the third or fourth floor, like, I would have given it to you, but he said 69th, and that is way much higher. I mean, it was a great <laughs> choice, I can't blame him. I, I, yeah. I, I'm not mad, I'm not mad at all. Hey, okay, we I are. will say that he had to pay a bit of an extra premium. Go ahead and subtract 500 eddies from your total inventory uh, income. This is claiming the uh, level 69 as your as your um, as your floor as your level it is basically the equivalent of buying a personalized license plate in Night City. So you had to pay just a little bit extra to get the 69th floor, even though you normally have your rent covered by the company. Where's uh? Butterfly, is she in the oh. elevator? Uh, took the elevator. <laughs> oh yeah, there's actually a, little... a door that you can click there to to to. to yeah. yeah. She already she already went to the next floor. Oh okay. Uh, <laughs> there's a button. There's a button. Oh okay. <laughs> okay, so that obviously, goes... uh, obviously, we'll, we're going to say that you know we all arrived at the same time because we rode the elevator together. But well, yeah, obviously, you you guys all arrive up the elevator together, except apparently Mr. Nobody is still down. The button's the... not working for me, so. The that's button's okay. still working. <laughs> all right, so here we are on floor two, 69, excuse me, floor 69. And apparently the door is wide open or or w w would the door be open, the spurts? No, it would have been shut. Oops. All right, lovely snacks on the door. Who is it? No, hold on. No, Caltrop's just like, wait, wait, I got this. <clears throat> Housekeeping? <laughs> it's not Wednesday, Senorita. What are you doing here? <laughs> oh, it's you guys. Come in, come in. Uh, Please. Butterfly's face, is, uh, face falls as she uh, Somebody is that, moving yeah, Frizz at the same time. That was weird. Please come in, uh, help yourself to a seat uh, at the table at the couch. Hi, Frizz. How are you? Good to see you again. Uh, Frizz just kind of nods and then heads back over to where her laptop computer is open over here at the uh, kitchenette table. What you working on? Hmm. Oh, Anything don't worry about that, buddy. What? She she really just doesn't respond to you like at all. She 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 acknowledges your presence and your existence, and then just kind of grunts and says hmm, and then goes back to work. You know what? I'm that's exactly what I'm used to. Good good. Leave Frizz alone, please. Over here to the couch, nobody. Sure. What the heck? Excellent. Are we all comfortable? Do we need a beverage? I have uh, this and that. Do you have that stuff that makes you turn purple? Yes. Yeah? Okay. I, 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 that. Pour, <laughs> I, I pour a round of purple nurple for everybody. <laughs> it is apparently uh, at least a popular drink among the people who attended Battle of the Bands. Let's, let, let, let's put it that way. <laughs> Butterfly refuses to drink. I expect no one to drink this, so don't worry. I'm not offended. Excellent, wonderful. So everyone knows why we're here, correct? Yes. 
Yes, I think we have a similar goal about Weasel and uh, this data he has. Oh. I just want to check on the girl that was injured. I'm the new kid on the block, so I only know bits and pieces. Excellent. Well, uh, nobody, uh, if you don't mind, I will uh, go over. Everyone, please have a seat wherever you find yourself comfortable. Um, but yes, we are, are looking to I, engage. I'm just going to go ahead and just because I mean, you're not saying it, but I'm going to. Yam Spurts comes up over here right in front of the TV where he had Frizz prepare himself like a fantastic multimedia presentation project to... Uh, 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 like just go over all of the finer points of this particular edge runner gig. Of Operation oh Pop Goes the Weasel. Oh, oh that's God. not a horrible what? name for it. Operation yeah. Pop Goes the Weasel. Hey, Mark, that's the name of this episode. Well, this is the this is the pre pop. This is the pre pop. We, oh, we're not yeah, into yeah. the pop okay. yet. Right, next right. week we're is a pop. Kidding. We're, yeah, next week, is, well, we're planning Operation Pop Goes the Weasel now, right? Yes, we're pop Plan planning. planning. P pop planning, yes. Pop planning, Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, so, 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 pop, Operation Pop Goes the Weasel, colon, the plan. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Mr. Uh, Spurts, before you get started your presentation, could you please grab me a W Energy? Do you have any of that? Yes. I have loads of them. He has $120 worth. <laughs> I swear to God that I did not prompt him for this. I, I, I did not I did not say players, you gotta mention W Energy this many times. The chat I, I took no, it from chat. Heather in the chat. Yeah, I'll uh, say the <laughs> chat the chat was demanding why none of us asked the words. Okay, okay. Prep okay, goes the weasel, giving. yes. Thank you, Epic uh, Sackman. Prep goes the weasel. <laughs> Prep goes the weasel. There That's you go. It. Prep goes the weasel. Prep goes the weasel. I love it. I love it. Thank you very much, Mr. Spurts. I appreciate it. Absolutely. You you are my guest. Uh, but the, the end of the presentation would also leave. And now we turn to nobody with his contacts. Because he told me he had contacts. So. No, no, no. Do, 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 do. Back it up. Back Give it up. Give the presentation. Yes. I want to hear this Microsoft PowerPoint in 2045. Yes. And, That's uh, my point. We demand it. And wait, uh, while he's doing that, I'm going to do a quick library search. Go for it. Uh, what are you searching for? I'm basically looking in the phone book for anybody with the prefix officer <laughs> or lieutenant. Uh, I'm going to look like the, the, the basically the, the precinct, the police precinct and uh, basically the uh, leadership there. Like the who the who the sergeant is, who the uh, the lieutenant captain. is, the captain, and the, the some of the detectives. I'm gonna basically look up their names and and uh, contact information. Uh, direct contact information wouldn't be available. It would be uh, just the precinct contact information, like the official, like like you know, here's the official agent of this officer, not their personal agent. Uh, that stuff would be listed and uh, so I would just make up like extension numbers well you still have to do the library search that's beside the point um but but what I'm just I'm just telling you what you would actually be able to get access to and uh so uh the other thing I want to say is I don't specifically have names for these people other than Legion Vero and Duke those are the only uh named uh, and okay, sorry, I do have a chief, but I didn't give him a name yet. Uh, no, I want full names, full backstories. Uh, I want everything. Well, damn it, I don't have it ready tonight. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Uh, but so I do. I, let me let anyway. Me, let me do this uh, library search real quick, okay? Yes, let's 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 see what the search result and, uh, is to and see what you can find out. I'm going to add. To tell you the limits. I'm going to add three luck. Okay. And uh, let's do this. Oh, oh shit! There's your credit for the night. Woo, baby, baby. So you are able to basically <laughs> get at the very least, at the very least, the public information for everybody at the NCB CPD precinct. Only the public information. There is certain information that is kept private for the safety of officers, and you are not able to access any of that. And that includes personal numbers and home addresses. 
That's uh, okay. Well, that can be bullshitted. So I'm good. Yes. All right. Well, there's your library search. So Not bad. what are you doing with it? I'm basically uh, getting all that information and I'm uh, putting it into a um, into a uh, message on my agent, getting ready to send it out uh, when 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 requested. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So, Yam, you had a presentation. Yes. Why are we here? Great question, everyone. We're here because we have a mission. I have a mission. We have a line goal. On the screen, that's Weasel. I have Weasel's mugshot. Um, he's hideous. He's ugly. He has the information we need. And then I will play what I think is the best snippets of nobody's uh, brain dance about the Battle of Bands, um, including some of the... I assume the pre-pictures that Limbo had done that I'd uh, asked him to about our presentation. Uh, basically, the first half of the presentation is me trying to sell uh, Purple Nurple to the group. <laughs> uh, Sorry, I'll, I'll, no, Weasel's not in the room with you. I'm just putting his his image on screen. That's fine. Uh, <laughs> with, but the first half of the presentation is like, well, why were we there? Well, Purple Nurple, it's a product. It's a thing. You should drink it. It may turn you purple, but it's awesome. Uh, and it's a full meal, and it has some health benefits uh beyond that that's why we're at the battle bands why were you guys there i don't know but that's not important let us continue uh fight happened cyber circle in this in the uh, middle of in the middle of your presentation limbo's like oh dude did i hear you talking about purple purple oh shit are you giving a presentation oh my god and he like just fucking runs up and just jumps up and he's like so like guys check this stuff out this stuff is just going to be amazing like a drink that makes sure you get yourself home safe because you are glowing purple and nobody's gonna attack you when you're purple because it's in, like basically like attacking somebody in broad daylight but, but, but it, nobody oh, already is purple sorry what you yes you had a question you in the front how can i help you why do you love purple nurple so much we're not here for that sit down and be quiet please how how oh. much is how much is limbo glowing right now uh oh dude he's um <laughs> i'm i'm glad you asked because i assume he's he's just steadily drinking oh, the purple dude, he drink like the only reason why there is any purple nurple in your uh um fridge is because he's basically your number one customer he's buying the shit out of it Oh, you Scales. made the whole map purple. Oh shit, maybe that was a little bit too high of an intensity. Oh no, he spilled it. I like this. <laughs> Mr. Nobody's no, I, really enjoying this. I like the idea that it just makes whatever it touches glow purple. <laughs> it's just so cool. It's all purple. <laughs> So, uh, Yam, so, uh, he comes out just making the whole room glow purple. What do you do? What do you tell him? Limbo, you are an asset to the team, but right now our team is growing and expanding. I need you to take a backseat on this one, uh, observe, take some lessons, and then at the end we'll be able to, to do a little bit of socializing and, and drinking of the purple nurple. But right now I need you to just dial it back, all right? All right. So give me a conversation check so we know how um, uh, diplomatic that actually came across. Absolutely. Yes, thank you, Mark. Mm -hmm. And um, okay, you do not lose loyalty from Limbo as he goes back to his. Uh, his bedroom he feels a little like may like i'm not even gonna make you roll human uh human perception on this you can tell he feels a little dejected but he didn't lose loyalty okay continue 
All right, excellent. Um, I guess Limbo is not going to be joining our social list, but that's fine. Uh, so again, so where does that leave us? Uh, Battle of the Bands. We know that uh, Weasel has information. Uh, so let's just go over what we know. First off, I know you... Uh, I'm going to look directly at Lovelace. I know you were in the net. You should probably do a better job of, of covering your tracks. Good thing me and Frizz came in and not somebody else, because... Whew! Uh, that could have been really bad. Uh, the rest of you, I, I assume... Based on the way the, the the fight went, you are beyond capable, so that's why you're here. Um, and and we need to uh, get into the police station and and talk to Weasel because he's got information. He was the last one in that. He was the one in the net before us. Um, and lovely, you didn't figure this out. Um, sorry, no offense. It's all right. It happens. Everyone has off days, not for his. But um, yeah, we were able to determine that he wiped everything. He took every bit of information. So if there's any information to be had, he's the one that has it. Um, you know what? I uh, love me, I me, love you, Mr. But, Spurts. Everybody but... but everybody but EM Spurts, give me a shit. What check would this be? Let's go with Streetwise. So everybody but EM Spurts. Seventeen. Uh, okay, ten, uh, oh, there we go. Seventeen. Um, so... Paltrop and nobody... Man, this is, this is, I, I'm trying to make this a basically a blind human perception because uh yam said something slightly inaccurate uh because it's not weasel that has all the information it's whoever his accomplice was and so i want to say maybe there's there was a hiccup in yam's voice when he said weasel had everything which clued you in that that might not be the entirety of it because specifically, this is not information that nobody and Caltrop knew, but you're kind of, oh shit, he might be leaving something out and you're picking up on that. Yeah, I uh, speak up and I say, you know what? Don't count Lovelace out. She risked her life before you showed up on your silver platter. So, you know what? She, she risked her life in there and she got some valuable information, you know, you're, yeah, you sure, Frizz, she's awesome. She helped clean up, but Lovelace is the one who put it on the line, so don't you ever forget it. Lovelace smiles at Mr. Nobody. Hey, again, as I said, if I didn't think you had the skills or, or the uh, the stuff, you wouldn't be here, all right? Everyone has their, their role to play in the group, and that's just how it's going to be. Yeah, because you can always trust a suit. <laughs> Hey, oh, hey, listen. This am I right? Was, am I right? Burned. Oh my God, I count from. <laughs> Every, everybody, everybody seems to be in the uh, not so trusting of corporate America. Oh, sorry, corporate Night City over here. <laughs> oh no, this is all bringing back terrible memories for Lovelace. I'm middle class. I just don't trust the corpo to begin with. So, <laughs> <laughs> I mean. I mean, I guess, I guess, yeah, you would be middle class. You are, and you are your own business owner, right? Yeah, I'm freelance, <laughs> baby. You are, yeah. I mean, like technically, you're right. You're middle class, but you're still broke. Yeah. <laughs> All right, continue. I'm loving every minute of this. Uh, but yes, we we have an end goal, and that is the the information. How do we... Oh, I'm sorry, before I even go any further, it is Mr. Nobody that has the end of the, uh, the station. So, Nobody, why don't you take it from here, uh, now that we know why we're here together as a group. Okay, well, you know what? Uh, I've scraped together uh, 
my contact information and uh, reached out and uh, pulled in a few favors. And I'm still going to need you to make a, a quote-unquote bullshit role, a.k.a. either acting or persuasion. And uh, uh, I basically scroll, I scroll the entire, shit. I scroll the entire information onto his uh, media wall there and uh, say, you know, yeah. well, well, I mean, I'm no, no, no. It's not the fact that you have that information. It's the fact that you are implying that you like actually have direct contact with these people that I'm asking you to give a bullshit that people will either know or not know. So, uh, either persuasion or acting. And okay. everybody is rolling human perception against it. Okay, fine, uh, fine, fine, fine. I am going to add uh, another three luck. <laughs> I mean, y'all might as well get luck out of it. Uh, whatever luck you got, you might as well burn it soon. That's nice. an 18. So everybody's got a DV18 uh, uh, human. Oh, butterfly sees right through Mr. Nobody. <laughs> she always With does her. anyway. <laughs> and and uh, that is uh, 10 IP for her critical success. Yeah, uh, Ty shit. goes to the defender. Nope, <laughs> Ty goes to the defender. So uh, in this case, I, I am. Oh, wait. Yeah. The bullshit detector is the defender, huh? Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So, so I got the nope. Shit. Yep. Ty goes to Caltrop <laughs> on this one. Caltrop sees through it. But you know what? He knows me. He knows. He knows I do this shit. So. <laughs> well, yeah. He knows you like he knows you fucking blow smoke out your ass. I'll give you that. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> He's just gonna go for the ride. He knows. He knows me. He's gonna. He, he knows that so, this often uh... turns out very well for him. So, so Butterfly and and Caltrop definitely realize that nobody is kind of embellishing some shit, but continue. So, so basically, we're going to be heading down there, and uh, what I'd like to do is to uh, find out first what they've learned, what the cops have learned, what the NCPD has learned. And then second, see if we can take that a step further and get into this guy's either in, in, either in his head or figure out if we can uh, intimidate him enough to talk a little bit more. I don't know if we can do much better than the NCPD, but I mean, I've got my little tricks. So so who who on this list are we speaking with directly? Or I'm assuming uh, there's Captain? there's. Captain uh, Whiskers and then uh, Lieutenant uh, so, uh, Lieutenant uh, uh, Shea. Yes. And before uh, you just start bullshitting stuff that, that, that is not going to become canon, uh, the the people that you at the very least were able to connect to the incident and were able to get information on with your incredible library search would have been Duke, okay. Vero, Legion, and the chief himself. Okay, Duke Vero Legion and the Chief himself. What else do you need? I mean, I, I'm handing it all to you on a silver platter, Mr. Spurts. You know what? Oh, I know well, Legion. We can go visit him at the police uh, police station. That's yeah. what I was expecting, someone to have a, a direct line. Thank you, lovely. Uh, and uh, so here's another cool thing that uh, I'm going to pop in. And, and I've told this because um, uh, Lovelace does uh play in the Wednesday game but check it out it's not Lovelace that knows Legion is it but Lovelace met Legion at the um yeah he was, he was yeah. There. You, did connect. you did connect sorry I thought you were talking about your uh your Wednesday character playing with him sorry no, no sorry no, sorry no. My bad, my bad, my bad. No, you're right. Lovelace did make a connection with him. You did make a connection well, with Legion. Well, remember I yeah, did. Yeah, Lovelace I, has a special connection with well, Legion. Yeah, but or so I, she thinks. I called so thinks. Legion already, and he said it was above his pay grade. So Yeah, you called him and said getting you in to see Weasel was above his pay grade. That was, that was the answer that nobody got. That was the answer that nobody got. And nobody else knows that. So, um, correct. checking her agent at the mention of Legion, has Butterfly got any response from her message? Uh, which, remind me of the message you sent? She had called, uh, 
and had mentioned that she needed to talk to she had called the station and mentioned that she needed to talk to Weasel in order to get information from him to find someone that was harmed yeah. at the battle. Yeah, yeah, game. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That no would have yeah, the response would have also been above my pay grade. Okay. Yeah. Okay, well Excellent. you know what? This is what we got. I think we got a good good start here. So I mean, what are you gonna do, Mr. Spurts? What's your ideas? Uh well as everything works there's several ways to go about it we could fight or fight um it's it's the police so we will die that's off the table uh we can try and, and you know uh negotiate our way in which I, I think is our best bet um i find that eddies are a wonderful motivator and are everyone's friend so uh you're talking how about much bribing you're talking about bribing the ncpd uh i'm gonna oh. put Put a pin in that because yes, that's what he's talking about. But put a pin in that. Uh, I want to address the chat really quick. Um, uh, Bailey, Bailey is saying Wednesday isn't a part of this, and I want to remind Bailey and my other players who are watching this show right now. Uh, remember, my night city, all of it, all of it is canon. It's all happening. Your characters are interacting with my night city in the exact same reality that your characters are interacting with my night city regardless of whether or not you are a cast member on this show oh so but you know what yeah uh, heather heather and and uh and uh bailey they they're they're right there in uh mr nobody's contact list yes yes they are yes <laughs> yes and and uh that being said i'm saying this because you might be called on for a guest spot just like legion Hint, hint. Or you could buy purple and purple and make me some money, please and thank you. I heart you love buy. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that too, because per buying buying the code word W uh, code word purple nurple on W makes Sputter Media money. So yes, Buddy. by all means, do that. Uh, <laughs> oh no, y Yams Yams first was plugging himself, so Wednesday night oh, game wow. can make his make him money in Tuesday night's game. <laughs> <laughs> please and thank you well you know what you got to show back up to tuesday night's game to make some money and in, 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 sorry you got to show back up to wednesday night's game to make some money in wednesday night's game i think i just channeled mr nobody there a little bit <laughs> yes you did it is a little <laughs> contagious isn't it <laughs> right and a uh, comes anyway yeah. i mean as hilarious as this side conversation is, continue with representation, Mr. Nobody. Well, you know what? I think it's we speak for ourselves. Uh, our, what we've done already, you know, we stood up to the one of the Cyber Psycho twins. We, uh, we, we, I think we, we have a lot of potential, this group. And even though sometimes it seems that we are a bit rudderless, I think that uh, with our skill set and our luck and our ability to uh, navigate uh, unforeseen circumstances I think we will be able to get this done in a uh, very uh, inimitable fashion and and with a much uh, aplomb and I think we will uh, make you look good ultimately Mr. Spurts even though you seem to have a wavering uh, confidence in us but uh, you know what I look around the room and I see Butterfly, who's awesome. I see Lovelace, who's awesome. I see Caltrop, the man who saved my life. On how I, how I couldn't count the number of times this man has saved my life. Oh, and I we're say, gonna fucking die if he's gonna. <laughs> <like us. laughs> uh, no, so so here. And, no, no, I was I, actually. And I, I, I say, I look at look at up. I look at spurts, and I and I say, you want something done? This is the team to do it. Don't shortchange us. I don't, I don't think you understand. I invited you to my house. I think very highly of you. And if I don't point out the mistakes you make, how can you get better at them? I don't, I don't say it from a, a place of, of negativity or of hurt, but we, we need to be aware of our shortcomings so we can overcome them. Such is my height. Mr. Nobody starts crying and looks at, looks at uh, Butterfly. Did you have any tissues? I need some tissues. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm still getting over some of my I don't, reconditioning. 
I don't uh, I, I don't know I, I don't know if I should make you roll for that or not because I'm not sure if this is a bullshit roll or if you're just that fucking yeah. I'm basically trying to inspire the whole group, basically. That's what I I'm get it. To. I get Butterfly it. Butterfly levels Mr. Nobody with an unimpressed look. Uh, <laughs> and uh, she kind of crosses her arms. Do I look like I carry tissues on hand? And she like gives them a yes. walk over. You're not even injured. <laughs> You definitely look like you have tissues on you. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I'm pretty so, sure you have a bandit in your back pocket. Fine, it's okay. I got a, I got a nap, nappy in my pocket here. Now that, now that the party has had a very thorough presentation of what is in front of them, now it's time to talk about what are y'all gonna do about it. Well. Obviously, I am probably the most charismatic of the group, so I should probably uh, take lead. Um, nobody, you seem fairly confident in the uh, conversation. Why don't we go in? Um, I'll take uh, Frizz and uh, Lovelace. You can take Caltrop, Butterfly, and Limbo. And we'll uh, see if we can't get more information by um, each taking a, one of the, the names here and talking to them. I'm, sure. I think I'm, Lovelace will be... Oh, go ahead. Go ahead, Butterfly. I don't want to be stuck with... The, what was? What did you call him? Limbo? The guy glowing purple? Oh, he's wonderful. You're going to love him. No. no Wait. I vote we do a, I vote we do a five, five... You One side does five, the other side does three. Yeah, you... Uh, Spurts, you can take your team. Uh, and... Uh, I'll, uh, I think Lovelace uh, wants to uh, talk to Legion, uh, Officer oh, Legion. Yes. yes. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, you know what? Uh, I, I would L probably Lovelace have... has the vapors for Legion. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the vapors. <laughs> so, yeah, we'll, uh, and then, uh, you Bless know what? I'll, uh, I'll talk to the, uh, directly to the cap, the chief. And uh, see if I can uh, wrangle him maybe some uh, some uh, concert tickets for his kids or something to make them look good. I, I think it'd be better if I talked to the, the chief. Nobody. No offense. Oh, fine. Okay. So who am I going to talk to? Am I going to talk to... Any of the other people you said you had, you've made contact sure, with. Sure. Fine. Okay, fine. Yes, I'll talk to uh, Professor Lupo in the, yeah. in the crime lab. With the monkey wrench. <laughs> With the monkey wrench. All right. So, so uh, uh, I, I'm just going to assume that uh, nobody meant Vero. But yes, yeah. Lupo. Um, Vero, yes. Yeah. Same same yeah, person. Yep, yeah. yep, yep, yep. So, uh, you guys have something resembling a plan <laughs> to go try and get information from Weasel next week. And that brings us to, or sorry, not next week in game time, but definitely next week in Cyber Night's time because this is the episode, uh, sorry, this is the end of our episode this week, which was, uh, uh, oh, sorry, what did we call it? Uh, prep, prep Goes the Weasel. Prep Goes right? the Weasel, exactly. Prep okay. Goes the Weasel. Right, uh, big so, shout out to the chat. You guys are awesome. Yes. Uh, Thanks yeah, for man. making it so fun. Guys, yeah, for sure. Like, seriously, I wish I could interact more than I do with the chat. I know most of the, the, the other players interact with the chat way more than I do just because I've got so much going on. But I do pay as much attention as I can afford and love the things that I catch. So my love to everybody who shows up for our live sessions and big shout out to the people who aren't catching us live because i know we don't have 74 people watching us right now but guess what episode five of cyber nights had 74 views before the broadcast of episode six and i'm so goddamn happy about that i love you guys so much whether you watch us live or you catch us after the fact you are the reason why are we are here 
And uh, Love don't, you. Don't, Anything else you guys want to say tonight? Don't forget to follow the channel uh, and uh, spread the news, spread the word to your friends. Uh, definitely share our stream on social media. And also check out our uh, YouTube channel. Like and follow us there. It, all that helps so much. We really appreciate all you guys. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you very much. And the rest of the Cyber Nights, y'all got want to say anything before we tip out? All Thanks right. for being here, chat. And I hope you guys have an amazing night. And I'll see you guys next Tuesday. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good week. Uh, be kind. Drink water. Thanks for watching. If you ever want to ride from Caltrop, you're immediately on the FAFO plan. <laughs> Friends and, and family only. <laughs> Walk around and find around out. And find out. It really depends <laughs> on how, you, how well you get to know Caltron, Wait, right? What does the M Spurs have to say? And remember, chat, drink your purple nerve, we'll get home safely. Yes. And by purple nerve, he means dubby because dubby. Sputter Media needs your money. That's it. We all need the money. Yo, <laughs> baby. 10% off, right? All you got to do is pop in your code and we get. 10% of your sale instead of Dubby. Basically, Take care, guys. I know where it comes down. Take care, guys. Hey. Love Lots you guys. of fun. Bye. Bye. Bye.